Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today I want to do this house right here, the Cozy Haven. It's kind of a house out in the middle of nowhere. I, thought, I think it'll be a, a great house to do like a rustic style in. Lots of wood tones and browns and stuff like that. I think it'll be really nice once it's all done. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this one. Um, let's take a look. We can see it's a little, uh, it's a little rundown, but you know, that's kind of house flipper in a nutshell. All the houses are like that. So we've got kind of this weird pathway here. We've got, uh, lots of graffiti, it looks like. The, the roof is made of logs. Uh, <laughs> But then coming over here, wow, we got this nice big wraparound porch, uh, which obviously is pretty dirty, but uh, we can deal with that. And then coming inside, just trash everywhere. Uh, looks like we've got a nice kitchen area over here. Well, nice once it'll once it's cleaned up anyway. Uh, we've got. This appears to be an office, but we could turn it into a bedroom. We got another bedroom here, and then this is like a little bathroom. Okay. There's also a downstairs, uh, which is actually pretty good sized. We got like this. Yeah, we could totally do like a finished basement down here. Um, maybe we turn like this little area into like a laundry room and, and second bathroom or something. But uh, then we could have like a little mini bar area over here and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, this is going to be uh, pretty nice. Is there an upstairs at all? Am I missing anything? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, so yeah, that's the house. Uh, first things first, got to get our cleaning montage in. Alright my friends, it is all cleaned up, everything's good to go, I did replace all of the windows, which didn't actually get shown in the time lapse because I had to sell them and buy them and it took me a while to figure out the window design and stuff I wanted to go with, so I cut that part out. Uh, but yeah, windows are done, I'm gonna leave the siding, this kind of brick, I think it fits well. Uh, but yeah, then coming inside, I've got all of the windows replaced, I've got all the trash out, etc, etc. Downstairs, upstairs, all looking good to go. So, 
next thing to do, uh, I'm going to leave the exterior walls this brick, but the interior walls I'm not. I'm going to change the interior walls. I don't know what to yet, uh, but I'll change them to something. Um, I might leave some of them brick, maybe. Maybe I'll leave like this one little wall chunk here as brick or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it. But yeah. Next step is going to be uh, floor and ceiling and wall textures to get everything colored and ready to go the way we want. And then we can start moving in furniture. So let me get to work. Well, my friends, the interior is all good to go as far as our wall and floor patterns. So let's start outside. Went with this kind of weathered but stained uh, wood for the deck out here, which I think works really well as an outdoor thing. We'll probably end up putting some railings on this little uh, deck here, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I might do that. I might not. Going inside, though, uh, went with this nice dark hardwood floor in the main room and then also into the two bedrooms. These both have hardwood floors as well, although I might change that to carpet. We'll see. Uh, for now, I just left it as hardwood floor. Uh, in here, this is our bathroom, and we went with this kind of herringbone uh, tile, and then this light, very uh, sort of off-white beige colored brick uh, in the bathroom, which I think looks really nice. Uh, first bedroom over here, we went with dark wood walls and uh, obviously the floor. And then in this room, uh, we went with a herringbone pattern uh, wall. So uh, I think that works out as well. Uh, so those are our two bedrooms. Uh, the kitchen, I just kept white, uh, but that's because I want to have a backsplash in here. Uh, and that kind of limits the number of colors I can use. Uh, but we went with this floor pattern. Uh, the ceiling in here is like that white concrete. And then the ceiling here is more of like a, a wooden... Uh, texture. Uh, and that's true of all the uh, the rooms in here as well. Uh, this is the white concrete. I think pretty much the entire house is either this uh, wooden pattern uh, or the white concrete ceiling. Uh, for the stairs, uh, I think I went with brown oak and then American oak for the actual stairs themselves. Uh, down here, though, we've got this nice uh, carpeted area, so nice finished basement. And then this is going to be like our laundry room. Uh, so in here, there's tiles and that sort of beige brick. This is going to be just a bathroom. Uh, again, the tiles and the beige brick. Uh, and then the walls down in the basement are this sort of cladding um uh, like stone like brick like uh, pattern, which I think looks really nice. So yeah, that is basically the house. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with it. It's very uh, it's very rustic, which is exactly what I was going for. Uh, I did leave this one wall here as that sort of brick just to sort of give us a little bit of an accent uh, wall in this room. So yeah, I think I'm I'm good with it. Uh, time to start putting in furniture and stuff. So I just finished up the kitchen, and honestly, I love how this kitchen turned out. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so one thing I did, I ended up shifting the door over one space uh, to the right from where we're standing right now. That way we had enough uh, space to get these counters kind of back here. Uh, went with Novella. Uh, kitchen cabinets and counters, which is from the Farm DLC. Uh, haven't really gotten a chance to use it a whole lot yet because um, they're very wide. Like these are th these are some thick <laughs> counters with two C's. Uh, you know, if you compare those to like the uh, the Imbus ones, for example, like look at the difference there. It's it, I mean you're talking. It, like roughly, I don't know. I think the Imbus one is like two thirds of what the uh, <laughs> the other ones are. It's a significant difference. Uh, let's grab a little thinner. Yeah, here we go. This will show it a little bit better. So you can see, yeah, it sticks out like almost an entire extra tile. Uh, maybe even a little bit more than that. So uh, because of that, I haven't really had a chance to use this Novella one uh, all that much. Uh, plus, you got to get the wraparound, uh, the like the ca the matching cabinets and stuff, are also all pretty big. 
Uh, but in this kitchen, I think it works out awesome. So we've got this nice sort of standing cabinet here with some drawers and things. We've got this nice counter that sort of wraps around a uh, sink, flows into an oven, uh, into counter, and then into a fridge that's built into the cabinetry. Um, so that all, I think, works good. Then I had all this extra space here in the middle. I was like, you know what? I'll put a nice big kitchen island coming out from the, uh, the wall here. Uh, so there's tons of counter space, which I think is great. Uh, went with a sort of stone brick style backsplash here, which I think fits the theme uh, of this sort of rustic house super well. Um, and then just decorated everything with a whole bunch of kitchen accessories, you know, uh, coffee machine, microwave, various cooking utensils, uh, things like that. Uh, all in all, I think this room turned out great. I love this kitchen. Uh, so yeah, super, super happy with this. So what do you think of the living room and dining room? I like how this turned out. I think it's pretty good. So lots of uh, large area rugs in here to fill up the floor space because we wanted to, I mean, you don't want to put the bookshelves and stuff in like the middle of the room. You want to put them up against walls. And since this is, this is uh, such a large room, it kind of limits, uh, you know, some of the things that you want to do in here. But uh, here's what we ended up doing. So I put a fireplace here up against the wall because I think any sort of rustic home like this needs a fireplace. Uh, decided to put the TV on top of the fireplace uh, and then sort of a uh, wraparound couch over here. Uh, with a coffee table. Uh, in this corner, I threw down a large dog bed. Uh, and then over here, this is kind of our dining room space because uh, I, I didn't have room in the kitchen for the dining room. So I wanted to put it over here. I think this looks pretty good. We've got uh, six chairs. Uh, that's plenty. And then over here, we've got a couple of sideboards. Over here, we've got a little rocking chair and like just a little side table for reading or whatever. And then it's just a lot of like plants and other uh, decorations that sort of fit that rustic theme. Uh, this wall went with sort of these uh, these like living walls here that are only about half high. And then up above, I threw down uh, just what are these called? Just like coverings or something like that. They're like a they're a decoration on the uh, hanging decorations. Uh, just wall panels. Yeah, I just put some wall panels here just to sort of do something with that space. Uh, and I think it's it's great, honestly. I really like how this room turned out. It's nice and cozy. It's very open. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. So next thing on the list, upstairs bathroom. So here's what we've got. I think it works out pretty well. I'm just going to kind of open that door so you guys can see what's going on in here. So we've got a wooden tub or a, a tub with uh, wooden decoration, I guess, <laughs> whatever you'd call this, panels, uh, here in the corner, because I've decided that this house owns a dog, and if you have a dog, you kind of need a tub, um, at least if it's a bigger dog. Um, in the corner over here, we've got this shower. I think this is just a super good... I mean, you can put this shower with basically anything, and it always looks good. So I like this a lot. Uh, we went with, I believe these are Lagrano sinks and mirrors uh, over here. So this is kind of a little sink area. I like these because they're real thin. Like, they're not super deep. So you can kind of fit them uh, and still have plenty of space. They don't stick out too far. We got our toilet over here. And then just some hanging shelves, plants, decorations, things of that nature, bathroom floor mats. Uh, etc. So there's the upstairs bathroom, and I think it's really nice. So the first upstairs bedroom is finished, and I think it's pretty okay. I like it. Uh, so all of the furniture in here, at least for the most part, is cedar, I believe. So we've got this nice big wooden double bed here with uh, some bedside tables, a mirror above it, uh, we've got our dresser over here, big wardrobe in the corner with a, um, 
uh, vertical radiator here to sort of help fill up this wall space. Because the thing is, like, you don't want the door to open up and clip into whatever's right here. So a vertical radiator, I think, is just a great choice because it's nice and thin. So when you open up the door, it's not going to smack into the radiator. Uh, and then we've just got, like, a rocking chair. We've got some plants and things like that around. Uh, a paint, a couple of paintings on the walls, etc., etc. I think it's good. I, I think it works out pretty well. It's a very nice little cozy bedroom. And for the other bedroom, uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a different layout. So we've got our bed going up against this wall uh, and sort of sticking out facing the window. Uh, we've got, again, a couple of bedside cabinets or bedside tables with some lamps on them. We've got our dresser over here with a mirror above it, sort of a, uh, sort of like a makeshift vanity. Uh, and I think it works. And then we've got our big wardrobe here in the corner. Uh, now, because this bed is positioned where it is and because it's so big, uh, there's not really a whole lot else we can do. And this, I think this room might actually be a little smaller than the other one. It's hard to tell. I think they're about the same size, but, uh, but either way, I think this works. I'm happy with this layout. Um, and it's again, a nice sort of rustic, cozy little bedroom. So now heading downstairs, um, I've made a couple, I, I decided I wanted to split this into two rooms. Uh, I added a wall and this door here. This whole thing was one big room. And I was like, you know what? If we're doing a finished basement, this would actually be a pretty good place for just another bedroom. So I'm probably going to change the walls and stuff here, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we've modified that layout just slightly. And then I went ahead and did the downstairs bathroom. So uh, especially if we're going to have a third bedroom in here, I think it's important to have a downstairs bathroom, although it's not quite as nice as the other one. Uh, so we just have a shower, no bathtub in this one. Uh, but then we got a nice big sink, lots of uh, extra counter space and cabinets and stuff over here. Toilet kind of in the corner, mirrors, etc. Uh, this doesn't feel as rustic as the one upstairs, but you know what? I think that's okay. Um, I think I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I still like how this bathroom turned out, and I think it will get the job done. Okay, so this is our basement, and I went with kind of like a little man cave lounge living room style uh, in here. So uh, in this first sort of landing room, we've got just a couch, uh, a pool table, some bookshelves and things like that, TV up on the wall. Uh, we got a little mini fridge here in the corner, uh, etc. And then coming into this room, we've got a, a big TV on the wall with a couch here. And then like a little mini bar, uh, a fridge that would go along with it, some more shelving, decorations, all that sorts of thing. Uh, so yeah, this is where you'd come down and just kind of hang out and maybe play some pool, maybe watch the football game, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, I think that's great. And then I went ahead and did the laundry room in here as well and uh, kept it pretty simple. Washer and dryer, nice sort of, this is actually a desk, but a sort of corner table here. Uh, some wooden shelves up on the wall here, and then some metal shelves. I finally got a chance to use these metal shelves. I've <laughs> pulled these out so many times, and I'm like, wow, that's way too big. Uh, but I actually got a chance to use them here. We got some various laundry accessories uh, hanging on the wall here, and then just uh, a laundry hamper and um, a trash can. So yeah, there's our laundry room and our uh, lounge slash man cave. And last but not least, we have the final bedroom of the house. Uh, went with a wood panel uh, wall in here, which I actually think turned out really well. I really like this wall uh, texture. I think I might use this more frequently uh, for this sort of rustic style. Uh, but yeah, we've got our bed over here with the bedside tables, the lamps, etc. Some wooden shelves on the wall here. I think all the wood tones in here are cedar, at least for the most part. Uh, we got just a potted plant here, a painting on the wall, dresser with a mirror, uh, some shelves, some more paintings, big wardrobe over here in the corner, and then just a little armchair for kind of hanging out with a big rug to sort of tie everything together. So, yeah, there we go. That is the final... Uh, uh, you know what? One more thing. I, I do want to add one more thing here. Let's go uh, a radiator, like right here. Uh, heating radiator. There we go. And let's put it like right about 
Yeah, probably like right about here. That should be good. If you can hear the squeaking in the background, it's the dog. She's decided she's going after her squeaker. Hey, Remy. I'm trying to record you, goof. Yeah, just hang out for a minute. So yeah, that's the house. Uh, <laughs> we, we've got uh, we've got the whole place all good to go. Uh, I think that's it. So now, uh, one quick final little look. We've got our nice kitchen here. We've got our main living room and dining room. We've got our upstairs bathroom, which I think turned out super nice. We've got bedroom number one and bedroom number two, and then the downstairs we just looked at. So let's go ahead and put this thing up for sale. See what we can get for it. Looks like we spent a grand total of roughly 320,000. Ooh, we're gonna make a nice tidy profit on this actually. Wow, 110,000, not bad. Let's see if we can bump that up by maybe like another, maybe maybe we can even get 130,000. Let's just give it a go. Look at that, not too shabby. 